part. Hi. Hello. Okay. So I decided, I've been thinking about it for like a really long time, is to start doing kind of like follow me around videos. Um, I used to do them all the time. I used to have a makeup channel. Well, I still kind of have it, but I haven't been on it in like two years. So, um, I'm going to kind of do like vlogs for my weight loss channel. Kind of like take you guys around with me. Like, I guess anything health related, I guess. Like, I don't know. Or maybe just in general. I'll just do follow me around vlogs. Um, I probably will only do them like once a week. If that, I'm not going to commit to saying it. yes for sure. You can see it follow me around once a week because I don't know it might be lame one week and not really have anything going on so um yeah I'm gonna start doing that again um uh, posting it I'll try to post it the same day it's just my crappy little talking to videos of my weight it's just so easy because I do it on my phone and um I can just slap it right up onto YouTube directly so so now I'm going to have to start editing again. My editing isn't wonderful. Wonderful. It's just going to be enough to piece it together. <laughs> I don't know. So it wasn't ever my strong suit. I'm going to go to Target and either A, return a bikini top I bought, or B, exchange it. I kind of bought it for motivation to lose weight. Um, I guess I'll give you guys a background like for people that are just new to watching my channel. So, I've always struggled with weight um, in my preteen, teen years. The highest weight I got up to was 140, 140 140 pounds. Um, and so I developed, I guess you could say, an eating disorder. I was anorexic. Um, it was my ninth grade. It was my eighth grade going into ninth grade year. No, it was my ninth going into tenth. I became anorexic. I was obsessed, I logged in every calorie, um, but I limited myself to no more than 500 calories a day. Um, if anybody is familiar with those chewy granola bars and how tiny they are, I used to split those in half. I'd eat one half for breakfast, the other half for lunch, and when my mom would make dinner I'd try to be normal and eat like a piece of meat and then like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of like the sides. <laughs> like sometimes I'd eat more normal. but. Um, so I got really bad, my face got sunken in, I dropped down to 109 pounds. So when I went to school, everybody was, went back to school, because I did this over the summer vacation, everybody was like shocked and starting to get more positive attention and it kind of fed into my addiction more eventually oh and I de I developed like being having a fear of eating in public I was just like afraid of what I would look like like if my cheeks like looks huge like chipmunks like eating in front of people so um, as years progressed I was still kind of obsessed but you know I was starting to look more healthy um, was eating more normal then I got to college, still was super afraid to eat lunch, or eat in front of people. And slowly it progressed that I was able to, I, I got out of that phase. Um, went from one shitty, bad relationship to the next, so slowly but surely I, I gained weight. Like, when I fell in love for the first time when I was a freshman in college, um, dated him for just a month shy of three years, and... It's kind of mentally abusive, so, I don't know, <laughs> so whatever. I had a stage of just, like, dating guys that just screwed me over. So, when I'd initially meet them and fall in love, I would, um, lose weight. <laughs> That's just how my body is when I'm, like, falling in love. Or depressed, like, really, really depressed, like, breakup depressed. Um, but then when I'd get comfortable in a relationship I, and felt comfortable eating in front of them, I would slowly but surely gain a little bit of weight. So her here I am today, February 28th, 2013. Um, I weigh, I weighed 135.6 yesterday, and I weighed myself today, I weigh the same. Um, so as you can see, I, I gained weight throughout the years, um, and just the numbers I told you. 
Um, when I first started Weight Watchers, it was back August 2012. Um, I'm doing Weight Watchers online. Uh, I always kind of dieted on my own, went to the gym. Nothing seemed to work for me, you know. It was kind of like a fad or whatever. Like, I'd do it and then eventually I'd just stop doing it, whatever. So, doing Weight Watchers, I feel like I'm being held accountable. I have something telling me, like, what I should eat, like, as far as, like, how many points and things. And, um, in my highs when I first started the Weight Watchers, I was about 146 pounds. So, from August to now, there has been some hiccups, um, throughout where I stopped, gained some back, whatever. So, um, I'm on my latest goal here. My goal is to get to 115 pounds by July 5th-ish. Um, so where I'm at now, it's kind of like 20 point something pounds away. And between now and July 5th is like 18 weeks away. So I'm still pretty good at, on keeping on track. If I lose a pound or two a week, I definitely should be there. I recently just plateaued. Uh, I was obsessed with going to the gym, like I was making sure I was burning no less than 500 calories, but I was eating a lot of smart ones. Um, so those are packed, are packed with sodium. So I weaned out of that, like I'm going to still eat them here and there, but I weaned off of those and I guess detoxed my body with this. I do these on my days off. This, it's Senna, so it's like a, a little laxative. Um, sorry for TMI, but basically I don't really go very often, so I'm going to use that to aid me in going. So um, I guess I'd say I detoxed myself of all that sodium, and then I haven't been to the gym in about a week, so doing that alone, I'm kind of back at my weight. Um, cause even with going to the gym and everything, I was 136, like, all throughout the week. It was so frustrating. Um, so I also decided to start incorporating um, weight training. I have yet to do that, but when I do go back to the gym, I'm going to do, like, cardio one day and then, like, weight training another day for my full body, maybe still with cardio. I don't know yet. So they say muscle burns fat, so I'll do that. Um, see how that goes. So yeah, I've always struggled with my weight, and I have never, ever, ever worn a bikini in public. I used to not wear my bathing suits when I was a child in front of people. I used to wear like a t-shirt over top of it, even though it was a one-piece suit. Always hated how I looked, and just when I, when I was, um, had my little eating disorder, I felt comfortable at 115. Like, I don't know how my body would look at that weight now. Because when I was 140 years ago, at the same height, I'm five foot, half inch, the weight was on me, like, much, much, much more. Like, I had double chins, um, I wore a size 13, 14 jean at that weight, but now, throughout the years, like, the weight is proportional on me differently, I'm not really sure, but maybe I just have more muscle mass than I did years ago? I don't know. So... Now it's proportioned on me much, much differently. Like, depending on brand, I can wear a size 8, size 10. So, the jeans I'm currently wearing now, I think are size 10. But I do have a pair that I wear that's size 8, so, I don't know. If you're a female, you know how that goes. So, yeah, that's the background. So, so I bought a bikini to kind of motivate. This technically doesn't match the top, but it's like it has orange and flowers. It's really cute. They fit me, um, although I don't like my hips, so they tie on the side, not a fan of that. But this, with my boobs, never thought I'd say it, but it's way too small. So this is the infamous, infamous bathing bikini top that I'm going to be returning or getting my money back, whatever. So really, really cute. It's a size medium, but my boobs are popping out all over the place in this, so I figure a large should be good. When I bought it, I didn't even check the this size, I just kind of bought it. So, 
That's what I'm off labeling things. Like for example, 21 of these is five points. So I have my little Sharpie marker and I'm gonna be doing that. I also portion things out. Um, that way I'm not tempted to just have the box sitting in front of me and just eating, eating, eating. So I'm gonna like portion them out. And highly recommend getting one of these. It's uh, like I have the Weight Watchers online. It's really, really nice. Um, to use it online, but sometimes it's so annoying to like start up your phone and get to the app and figure out the calculation. So this is like quick and easy. Just pull it out of your purse and figure out the points when you're shopping for food or whatever. So yeah, have that. Hello, Faya. Hi, baby girls. Hello. I can hear your purring. Thought maybe she'd meow again. Aww. Hi, Bella. There you go. There you go, you me out for people. Hello you guys, it's raining. But there's the side of my car. I'll have to update you guys with um, pictures, but basically my I got my car in July, August. August, that side of it was completely swipe, side swiped. There's like 5,000 in damage. And so now I park it up on the sidewalk. <laughs> um, but that's actually kind of partially why I stopped going to the gym because I was really depressed about it. to Target and of course they didn't have my uh, bathing suit top so I uh, returned the top and got the money back for it and um, it ended up being like $21 and change um, but I also walked around Target to see what they had as far as like, protein stuff and whatnot so they didn't really have what I was looking for and then I went to Walmart that that's really close by to that target uh, to look around. They didn't have what I was looking for either. But I just kind of walked around just a little bit. Um, then I headed more toward home and there's um, an even closer Walmart. So I checked there. They didn't have it. Um, but then while I was there I just uh, used my return money to buy stuff for dinner. So I ended up making chicken parm, chicken parmesan and like creamy four cheese rice. It was really good, but by the way, um, it was kind of sweet tasting. Uh, like in the egg where you dip the chicken at some point, I added um, minced garlic, I added lemon juice, and a bunch of spices and things like that. So I don't know if that's why I had a sweet taste. And I also drizzled the chicken with lemon juice on it too, like an actual s squeezed lemon. Um, so I don't know if it was the sauce, or if it was the lemon, or if it was a combination. 
but it was really good. Um, see, I was looking at scales when I was at Walmart. Jesus, maybe I should buy one, because honestly I have no idea. No idea how many points I had for dinner, other than I could probably figure out the portion of rice I had, how many points that would equate to. But yeah, that was that. Um, that was kind of my day. It's kind of lame, sorry guys. But uh, I don't know that I want to go to the gym tonight, because it's kind of late. I'd end up um, eating an, a pill for energy, eating, swallowing a pill for energy. And what that's going to do is keep me wide awake when I'm trying to go to bed tonight. So, I might just go tomorrow or something like that. But I think that's my night. I'm just going to spend the rest of my night cleaning up and whatever else. I'm just relaxing because from like 4 to 8, I was busy between going out, running errands, making dinner, eating. So now I'm just going to, I guess, upload this at some point and relax. I wanted to show you guys um, something that I do too when I go to the gym. Let me kind of kneel down. I'm sure the lighting is better. Um, so when I go to the gym, I uh, wrap clean wrap around my um, stomach waist area. It like traps in the heat and everything, and it helps me sweat more and. I assume I burn more fat in my air, my stomach area. Although I don't really think I'm burning fat, I'm probably just losing more water weight in that area. But I don't know, like really expensive spas and stuff do like these kind of body wraps and everything. I mean, a little bit more involved than what I do, but uh, I don't know if what I did is, like, when I do that, if it's a waste or not, but I've had this for a while. It's lasted me quite a bit, but every time I went to the gym, I was using my cling wrap. So, I don't know, just figured I'd share that little tip with you guys. Oh, and I want to show you this too, Xantrex 3. This is what I take, um... Prior to the gym, I take it at least like 30 minutes before. I think I take one. Yeah, I only take one. I only take it just of the simple fact of I bought it a year and a half, two years ago, and I just went, no, like, yeah, a year, year and a half ago. And I just want to use up the bottle. I don't want to waste it. So I use it to give me an energy boost. Um, because sometimes the cardio for an hour can be a little bit hard, especially because I save one of the more tough machines until the very end, so that's just how I get my energy. And then again, Senna. Take that so I can be regular, and I guess it's nice on your weigh-in days. Like, you take this the night before, like, after dinner, right before bed, and so what you do is, um, you take it and then it's supposed to work in about 12 hours, maybe 8 to 12 hours. So then on my day off, when I get up, I relieve my bowels, my bladder, and then I lay in. And all the shit, excuse me, all the crap that built up, no pun intended, all the stuff that built up throughout the week is gone, I guess. Unless you go, like, every day like a normal person, then I guess you don't have to worry. But, uh, I guess that wraps up this video for tonight. I'm just gonna relax and clean up and upload. So, bye guys. Good night, everyone. I swear I wasn't on the bed all day. Such a bum.